President Yoon Sogir landed in the Netherlands on Monday local time, beginning his deep visit to the nation, which he emphasized will be more or less be all about semiconductors. Our Oh Soo-young is traveling with the president and tells us what to expect. President Yoon Sogir pledged to turn the Korean-Dutch Chip Corporation into a semiconductor alliance through his state visit this week, as South Korea looks to secure its supply chain of chip-making parts and equipment. Speaking at a banquet for around 100 Korean expats in Amsterdam after his arrival, he stressed that the focus of his visit is primarily about chips. Semiconductors made up 18.9% of the trade-dependent country's exports as of last year. Yoon and King Willem Alexander will visit the headquarters of ASML, the world's largest producer of lithographers, core equipment used for making semiconductors. The heads of major chip producers Samsung and SK Hynix, Lee Jae-yong and Choi Tae-won will also join the visit. The South Korean president will become the first world leader to have access to the clean room facility, where he is likely to get a glimpse of extreme ultraviolet lithography machines capable of producing 2 nanometer chips, roughly 10 to 15 times faster than 3 nanometer chips, currently the most advanced on the market. This, according to senior officials, indicates positive signals for South Korea in procuring the latest equipment to further boost its chip-making capacity. The performance of microchips determines the fate of not only AI, quantum and biotechnology, but also advanced weaponry. Although Korea is a global chip-making powerhouse, it falls short in terms of equipment and materials. In order to maintain and develop our reputation as a chip-manufacturing powerhouse, it is crucial to forge strategic alliances with countries leading in materials and equipment, such as the Netherlands, the United States and Japan. The leader is expected to agree on a variety of deals, including on semiconductor cooperation and a dedicated dialogue channel, following his bilateral talks with Prime Minister Mark Rutte on Wednesday at The Hague. Of course, Korea and Netherlands are starting to start with the development of the economy, the economy, and the development of the economy, and the development of the development of the 이번 방문을 통해서 많은 또 이런 협정과 MOU들이 체결되면서 한내 관계가 더욱 깊어질 것입니다. Yoon's official engagements began on Tuesday, marking the first state visit for a South Korean leader to the country in 62 years of bilateral ties, which were upgraded to a strategic partnership last year. The two sides' strategic partnership will set out to bolster their security cooperation rooted in their solidarity of shared values and economic security cooperation based on their high-tech alliance. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News, Amsterdam.